Hi. Hey, so you might not believe what I'm going to tell you next, but let me assure you, all of it is true. So this talk is about an email I received from a Nigerian friend of mine. It starts something like this. Compliments of the season to you and your family. Before proceeding on my mail, let me quickly seize this opportunity to intimate you that I got your email via one of India's web directories. Nevertheless, let me introduce my personality to you. My good names are Engineer Mike Eghees Milakomba. I'm a 61-year-old South African, but permanently residing in the United Kingdom. Actually, as a means of establishing abroad, I'm soliciting for high network individual or company that can help assist me in setting up a business venture in your country. Please, I need someone that has vision and passion with real sense of humor and must be about the age of 18, adult age. Well, for further information regarding this proposal, if interested, do contact me via personal email address stated below, milkigrey4sa at webmail.co.za. P.S. Please do not take this for a joke slash child's play. Only reply, reply if you're interested. Otherwise, ignore this mail. I would appreciate if you are from India, Indian citizen, because investing in the land of India is my major concern. I await your response regarding the same. Thank you. So you would think that this is a spam email, right? You would just automatically spam this, and Google will never let Mr. Uh, what's his name get in touch with you ever again. Have you ever realized that these are real people? They can be sending us emails. So I, I wrote an email back to Mr. Milikomba, and turns out he's a real guy, right? He's in Nigeria, and the poor guy wants to invest in India, and you guys are all spamming him, right? That's not cool. So what I do, I write an email back, I invite him back to Bangalore, and he's coming down to Bangalore, he flies down, and, in the, and the flight lobby is full. Guess who is there? Rita from Kormangla, Stella from Indiranagar, who else? I made notes, but, but I forgot who else was there. But there were a swarm of young women, right? I had seen their pictures when I was on Pirate Bay. I was trying to you know, download some torrents and do my stuff. But they were there in real life. I, I thought there was some kind of you know, spam. But these guys were there. And you know, they were there to welcome Mr. Milikomba. Right? So I don't believe any of this. Uh, and I go and I mingle with people. And turns out, there's a lady who makes $350 a day also. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, you know, I've done some SEM and I could earn $350 a day, but I never thought that this was real. So it turns out that g lady who earns $350 a day is there with her daughter. Right? 17,500 in Indian rupees. That's so cool, man. Right? So then turns out I go back and I talk to all of these really, really cool people. You know, Natasha from Baswangudi introduces me to her, uh, her grandma, Rita, who's 60 years old, and she just wants to make friends. And you know, she feels this weird energy about me. And she, <laughs> you know, she emails me, and then I add her on Facebook. And then there's this Nicaraguan businessman who sends me a proposal. Believe it or not, I am today an internet millionaire. Right? Just by responding to the emails of these kind people online, I have made a living for myself. Right? That was in the end. The ex-girlfriends club got in touch with me. Right now, all of them are forming a committee which says Netizens Against Discrimination. Uh, it contains Mr. Orgil Batar from Israel, Ben Johnson from the UK, Mohammed Aziz from Israel, Jap Sem from Korea, but I think he's from Vietnam, Mill and Abraham, and all of these people. Right? So the message I want to leave you today is that the next time you see an email from any of these people, please respond to it. Please be kind enough to write to these people. There are real people behind all of these images. And they want to talk to you and reach out to you. Right? Thank you so much. <laughs> Sorry, it's part of a short story that I'm writing. If you have any other ideas about internet people that, you, that might exist in real life, please feel free to talk to me and you know, give me your ideas. Thanks.